Welcome to another pre-cruise hotel idea by Rick Strips. This time, Miami, Florida. On this cruise out of Miami, I booked a hotel at the Doubletree by Hilton Grand Hotel Biscayne Bay. It's a beautiful hotel, but like other hotels I've stayed at in Miami, very different from the normal hotels that you normally find. This one is also partly a resident. Let's take a look at the room. This is a very big room. Had everything you need. Large screen TV. Had two queen size beds. A beautiful marble floor that ran throughout the room. Nice and cool on your feet. There was a long but narrow balcony overlooking Biscayne Bay. Had some beautiful views of the boats in the harbor. And two chairs that you could comfortably sit out there and enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning or a couple of cocktails in the evening. Had a nice big bathroom. Also had the marble flooring in there and a beautiful walk-in shower and even a bidet. There was also an in-room coffee maker, a small refrigerator, and ample closet space. The hotel does seem to be on the approach path of Miami International Airport but you didn't hear the noise once the doors were closed. And if you get up early enough, you'll be able to see some of the cruise ships arriving. There's my ship coming in now. I went to go find the large rooftop pool on the 10th floor, but the elevators were broken. The hotel floors are on the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th floors, and there's a beautiful atrium area before each elevator area with great views outside the window. Since I had to go down to the first floor, to access the pool on the 10th floor, I decided to check out what else was on the first floor. There are liquor stores, convenience stores, and several restaurants. There's a beautiful outdoor entry to the marina and a very nice boardwalk area where you can walk up and down the boardwalk of the harbor. One direction will take you to a really nice park. I was actually taken aback by the size of the building. It's huge. It must be a beautiful place to live and stay during the hotel. This Gachito's restaurant is where I went and had breakfast. It's one of at least two of the restaurants, along with the hotel's main restaurant, Primo's, that allows you to charge items to your room. Also on the first floor, you'll find Starbucks and another bakery with smoothies. And then the Primo's outdoor portion of the restaurant. You can also enter the Marriott Hotel, which is next door. That looks like a good hotel as well. Beautiful lobby. Now, to get to the pool on the 10th floor with the elevator being out, you have to go by the concierge desk and tell them you want to go to the pool, and they'll select the elevator for you. It opens up into this beautiful fountain area that must be in the middle of the residential part of the hotel because the hotel rooms don't go that high. I take it it's the residences and maybe the pool is outside. Beautiful here. It really is a big, beautiful pool. And even had a nice overlook of the Biscayne Bay and the harbor. You can even peek over the wall and see the beautiful landscaping they have over at the Marriott. Or that might be another residence as well. Throughout the pool area, there was several statues and fountains. It was a really nice walkabout. Then I came upon the very large hot tub area. Looked like there were four hot tubs in one area. It looks like each had their own separate controls. If I ever come back in the winter, I'm going to check out one of them hot tubs. That looks nice. Once I finished looking around the pool area, I decided to go back down to the first floor and then go into the hotel entrance and take the elevator to the third floor, which was going to take me to the gym. There's another beautiful area. And there's even a sauna. Very nice. The gym is huge and must be used by the residents as well. I thought I heard racket ball, but then I saw the boxing going on. I thought that was pretty cool. They had all kinds of machines here and several Smith machines. 
lot of free weights, all kinds of uh, ellipticals and treadmills, and a beautiful view of the harbor if you're running on one of them treadmills. I hope you like this review and consider subscribing. We'll see you next time.